Hello everybody, my name is Provis, and welcome back to more Frostpunk in the Scar. Um, I feel very uncomfortable with the state of things right now. We have one day until the uh, next storm is going to hit. We have some more survivors on the way, which is great, but I think they're all going to die, so... Not sure how much good that's going to do me, really. Steam Steelworks and stuff, quite cold, quite cold, everything is quite cold right now. Uh, without having an overdrive up and running, basically our people die. Um, I'm trying to get through as much tech as I can. I'm trying to get a power upgrade. The question then becomes, do I go for the overdrive coupling to prevent people from getting sick during the next storm? Or um, do I uh, go for, let's say, a range upgrade? What's better? The coal by the generator is doubled whenever we use the increased range. Yes. So let me think about that. So we produce... Is it already upgrading to this? Are you already taking this into account? I think it is. Overdrive couplings. Overdrive couplings let me have a chance to survive a lot longer during the storm. Let's get the temperature up, and just like that, all of a sudden, we're back on track. Barely, but we are. Let's turn off the heaters in those locations. We have seven hours of coal left. That's just enough for right now. The question now becomes, how quickly can we gather more coal? Can I gather fast enough? The answer is, we're gathering too fast. We're not producing fast enough. Some steam coal thumpers would help with that. It does cost some precious resources. And people are going to get sick going out tonight. And we already have like 100 people sick. That's most of our population, by the way. Still. If we can get that upgraded, that produces a lot more coal during a much needed day. I'm mostly thinking that because we have so many people sick, we're doomed. But let's see, that's 96 coal per hour as opposed to 43, so we just doubled the production in this area. So that could be good. Temperature-wise, sort of okay. Sort of. We have some extra children available. Uh, where do I send you? Pull a worker off here, send you here. Pull a couple of extra engineers off, send a worker there to get some more wood. Get to work over here, trying to treat some more people desperately. We've arrived with more workers. Okay, that's actually really important. More engineers means more treatment. The list. Discontent will fall. Hope will fall. Fine. We're going to do that. Hope doesn't matter. Discontent does, though. So you've returned, and there's nothing else for you to do. So, we are going to dismantle the scouting group. Send some people to gather up these resources. Continue to gather as quickly as we can in terms of coal. We aren't quite producing enough. And we're too low on our... We're too low on this. I've got too many sick people. Lumber is no longer important. Pull back. Turn off. As much as I want the steel, I'm debating pulling back there as well. Um, we don't pause this. We actually have enough housing? How'd that happen? Turn these off. Are people living here? No. I think that's because they're all, like, in the care houses or something. Why are we not treating more people? We should be treating at least 60. Right now. Coal, four hours. That puts me back on track, but... 
Still not generating enough. We can gather a little faster if we send more people here. We're not producing piles fast enough still. Pull back on this. Pull back on all this. I think we got... No, no, we don't have quite enough rations. I'm going to send some people to quickly churn through this. Because i got to turn that off, too. Why are people not working? It's because they're all sick. Do we not have any healthy people left? I don't think we do. Okay. Here comes the overdrive couplings. That might save me. Might. Still need to burn more of this down. Any more research I could do that might save me? Um, heaters, maybe? A range upgrade? No, because we don't have enough coal. Gathering post insulation? Healthcare insulation. Is that going to be enough? Will that save me? I don't think so. Um, we're definitely building up some coal, but we're going to have to somehow keep people working during the storm. And I can't spend coal to keep them alive. I am sensing that a lot of people are going to die soon. Protesting. You're dismissed. Get out of here with your protesting nonsense. We have anybody who's healthy. Nope. Nope, not a single healthy person to make food. Hold on. Hold on. There's no point in me having this. If we can't get someone healthy to go make the food. There we go. Make rations. Freezing homes. I would love to heat them. It's not possible. Disperse the crowd. I literally can't. I would love to, but I literally can't. Why are you guys not making meals? Emergency shift. Get in there and make some rations or we're dead. I need them now because it's going to freeze and I can't fix it. This is going to be tense. Um, I, think, I think we're dead. I do think we're dead. Uh, we only have a few hours before people are going to decide they can never trust me again, which is no surprise. Severe frostbite. We've lost our first limb. Only just now getting an amputee. Sort of surprises me. Guess what? We have five hours of coal. You guys go to work at six, huh? We might be able to produce some, but they're going to freeze to death in the process. Time to create a new religion. Right before everyone dies, we're creating a new faith. I am this guy right here. I look glorious. Uh, I am God. Some heretics will die. Really? I will send the la. You are all going to accept this. Hope is no longer going to be a concern. There we go. All right. Raise up the religious symbol on the generator. Our captain is the voice of God. You're all discontented as hell, but... <laughs> yep. I am the voice. I am, in fact, the voice. Follow me. Okay. Well, this is good. I mean, hope is not an issue now, so we're not going to lose the game, which is what was about to happen. Seven people had to die in the process. Calm them down. Send the faith keepers. Get rid of that discontent issue. We need to send more folks to work over here still. More faith keepers won't do me much good. More engineers to heal people will. Keep them healing. We're out of food? No, we're capped on food. All right. Can turn that off now. 
this is all going to be for naught, no matter what. I can't have people work here soon, so let's go ahead and turn off all of this. Your full-time occupation now, everybody, is getting better. Go to the doctor and just spend all your time trying to get better. That is literally all I could ask you to do. Execution platform has been set up for people who would dare oppose me. That's always nice. Okay, we gotta survive an hour. Okay, are we gathering coal? Yep. How fast are we gathering coal? Fast enough. Okay. If we can keep this running, we have enough coal coming in. If. If. Huge if. I don't think this coal thumper's even producing fast enough, to be honest. That's what it says. It says we've got enough. I do need to turn this on. My question is, do we have enough if we do this? Barely. It says we can do it. That's what they're selling me. All right, and our overdrive is ready to go because here comes the temperature drop. Time to pull people back over here. That's already off. We can't have anybody work out here because it's too cold. We can only have people work in the coal areas and the infirmaries. Wish I could build more infirmaries. We have more engineers. I do. Is there anywhere that I could place another uh, medical post and still work? Maybe right here? If I turn on overdrive anyway. Alright. Time to turn on overdrive. Our divine leader? I like the sound of that. I like the cut of your jib, dude. Okay, so while that's happening, while the overdrive is on, everyone over here is fine. Everyone over here is fine. I can turn on the lumber gathering because it's already in a zone that's chilly. I can actually get food. Wow, overdrive couplings, you're saving my life here. Let's have uh, children working this as much as we can. But to be honest, we're going to have so many sick people, I'm not sure it matters. What's going on here? Disabled by a storm. It is? Oh, the storm disables it regardless. Never mind then. Glad we got our uh, rations together. Okay, well, we'll keep making rations while we can. I'll keep gathering some lumber while I can, and uh... We need to build up enough of a stockpile that I feel comfortable doing something else and working elsewhere. Alright, well, as long as the overdrive is on, we can survive this. As long as the overdrive is on. We are still desperately trying to treat people. And it's sort of working. It's still taking several hours to make it work, but we're getting there. It's a lot of sick people, though. But nobody should be working in bad conditions. Nobody should. It's chilly, but not that bad. I have people working over here, and that seems to have definitely made an impact. So my new question is, is there anywhere else I can place down some field rations and save me? It only affects workplaces. I could place it here. It would impact an infirmary, but that's it. This wouldn't do me any good. No. I mean, maybe we could technically turn this on. Another kitchen over here would actually save these gathering posts. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Could raise the temperature with the kitchen over in these areas. I'm not sure how good that does me. This lets me at least get some... You know, let's try that. Maybe I can get some more research done. I don't want people getting sick there either. Grumpy old man. Crowd has dragged an old man from his house. They're gonna make him submit to public penance. Repent, you wretch! Disperse the crowd. Discontent rises. Nah, he may get hurt, but I'm okay with it. I got enough people. I say I'm okay with it. I'm not really okay with it, but... Look how creepy these flags are everywhere, by the way. This is amazing. I like it. Okay, uh, we can assign people to these places. So this should raise the temperature of this area to a much more livable condition, which means we can continue doing some research. Am I working out right now? Oh, right, healthcare insulation. That's a good idea. Because when the uh, overburners inevitably fail, uh, we're gonna wish we had some. Did the guy die? No, that's just the gong. Never mind. 
Oh, you guys didn't finish. You didn't finish. Um, we're going to do another emergency shift. Let us make discontent fall with my words and do more processions and more public penance. Also, maybe some uh, sermons. You know, get that discontent down a little bit. Supposedly, that's a very good thing. Still can't keep up with how many people are getting sick. Not even close. And you guys didn't even... You're not even starting to work over here. Get over there. The efficiency is so low. There we go. Okay, insulation. Done. Good. Um, What next? Hothouse insulation does me nothing. Not during this. Gathering post insulation does me something. I can then get to more efficient gathering, too. Gathering post insulation prevents a lot of these people down here getting sick. Which allows me to continue... To work down over here and gather coal. I've got nine hours left, but that's just barely enough to keep me going. You need to be on 24 hours now. Okay. Getting a little close for comfort on the overdrive. I'm going to have to start pulling this back. We were able to survive for a day. Good grief. We're going to get a respite, and then the temperature's going to keep dropping again and again and again and again. God, this map is hard. I'd love to at least survive to day 50. Yeah. We got the people. What we don't have is enough resources and the temperature to actually survive and keep going. I just need to keep the coal going so I can keep this generator up and running at all times. That's what I need. All right. Heating is back on. How are we looking over here? Um, you guys are working here, right? No, you're not. Hang on. There we go. Okay, that's too cold. It's just outside of a range. Oh, uh, this is dangerous. We're just outside of range of the generator. I didn't think about that. It does solve some of this issue. What we're doing is risking these people getting sick to keep everyone else safe. And honestly, that's still probably worth it, but... It doesn't feel good, does it? Alright, this has to go off because it's about to explode. <laughs> Which means everyone's about to get real cold. But the infirmaries are still running. And so are the medical posts. Well, that's amazing. Five hours. How much are we generating in terms of coal? We are still producing a surplus, so we should be okay. You guys, stop working. You stop working. Everyone's starting to freeze to death. How are we looking over here? Sort of all right, actually. Yeah, these um, these field rations and stuff are keeping people afloat. But we are going to come out of this completely bruised with... Oh, God. Why did we just lose so much capacity? We suddenly Did we just heal that many people, or did that many get sick and kicked out? I can't tell. All right. I think we're going to make it. Um, which is great, but still struggling. We are definitely seeing the fruits of our labor with this steam coal thumper. This is producing a pile that we still can't keep up with now. So we technically would need more gathering posts. I mean, it risks people getting sick, but they're getting sick anyway. Let's just get out there and work. What's this? It warms the soul. The field kitchen. People like it. Hope rises. We don't care about hope. Hope means nothing to me. Hope is dead. We're running low on rations, by the way. Which is not surprising either. That's okay. Gathering post insulation. Alright. That helps a bit. It's not enough by itself, but at least it greatly reduces the chance of people getting sick out in those jobs. I don't think we can research anything else, because I don't have any steel. Because, you know, surprise, surprise, we never have any steel. But, we're getting there. Okay, um... We have a few hours to go, and I need to turn on the overdrive. Let's do it. Discontent's dropping, I'm just trying to prevent some people from getting sick, if at all possible. We've almost made it, but it, every consecutive storm is going to get harder and harder. Yes, yes, the stress levels are critical. Got it. I wish there was a way for us to reduce how quickly you gained your stress. We could throw a child in there. <laughs> we got children to spend. You know what? 
No, I don't want to take the risk. What if the event doesn't pop up like I think it does? You know? We have 11 Gravely Eel. Only one Amputee so far, which shocks me, by the way. Really not as bad as I might have expected. Alright, turn this back on. We're just going to keep toggling this. Temperature rise. Oh my god. Woo! Okay, we've made it through two storms, ladies and gentlemen. Two storms, barely. Okay. Um, we don't need any of this. Frankly, I probably don't even need to be on heat level three. But I'm probably going to leave it where it is for now. Because I need to heal people up in order to even get my people back on track. We also really need some scouts. So let's create a team and see where we can go. A fissured rock. Frozen lake. That'll probably have food. Small airship? I don't know what this is, but I want it. We're going for that next. Another team. Going to the frozen lake. Let's look for some materials. And we have to turn you on now. Have to be working here. You get on. Steam steel works. Five steel per hour is all I'm going to get. Yeah, happy about that. Okay. Um, let's definitely get some more people getting some lumber. Let's turn this on. Get some lumber. Actually, wait. We need more engineers over here. I don't have enough steel to do any more research, but we will soon enough. Oh, right. We also need food. Badly. Uh... Well, we got a lot of kids for a reason, right? Get them going. Treacherous cold is our new event. They're feeling unwell after only staying in short temperatures. Beware of the cold. People fall ill more easily. Oh, doesn't that just beat all? Well, that's all the more reason we have to keep power generation level 3 nice and high. If I turn you down, can I turn you off? No, then you're chilly. We need the hub. Can turn off that, though. Okay. Well, as far as events go, that's not the worst. It's not good, but it's not the worst. Okay, let's start producing those rations. Um, we also need somebody available to cook them. How about a couple of engineers? Go over there for now. Are you all sick? I'm going to guess you're all sick. Going to treatment. Going to treatment. Yep. But we're healing people quickly because infirmaries are amazing. We're healing people really quickly because infirmaries are amazing. God, I love them so much. Defender of the old faith. There's a rumor about a preacher who has the gall to openly question me. Keep an eye on this fool. I might kill him. I might have to kill him. All right. That's enough steel to do some more research. What do we want? Efficient gathering? Hmm. Infirmary mechanization would free up quite a few engineers. Industrial hothouse? We don't have the steam cores. Hothouse insulation don't need. Uh, Heating-wise, range... You know, it does, it does help. Factory. I think we want the efficient gathering, actually. Because that lets me gather up my coal and stuff a lot faster. I mean a lot faster. We never used this, did we? Oops. Okay, now we have enough. Let's go ahead and grab the efficient gathering. It's good. Um, with efficient gathering and two steam coal thumpers, we'll be fine for coal for probably the rest of the game. Which means I can spend some time increasing the range of things like generators. And that will work. My biggest issue is that I can't ever get enough steel. I just can't. People are hungry. Yeah, we'll feed them. No, 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 no. As long as, as long as we get a cook who's actually able to go do something, I mean, we'll feed people in within the next three days, right? You stupid kitties are going to get me some food, right? God, you better. Oh, look how many hungry people we've got all of a sudden. Uh-oh. Wait, do we even produce enough food? Yeah, we produce enough food. We'll be fine. 
We will be fine. Um, one thing that's a problem is we are actually running out of coal. Again. Turn this off. Turn this off. I know that's a lot of houses, but it's the minimum amount of damage I can do, and this gets me the few hours that I need. And yes, we get more sick people, I know. That's why we have infirmaries. It's okay. It'll last for five more hours. Let's turn this one on again. Four hours is just barely enough. That should reduce how many people get sick. Alright. Purpose. Ah, oh, look at this. This is sick. Okay. New faith done. House of healing. Now, temple? I mean, raises hope and reduces dis um, discontent, but I don't really care about that. I think we need to go for prosthetics law. We don't have a factory yet or anything, but we're going to. Scouts have arrived with a small airship. Some wood and steel, thank God. Ice obelisk. And a stone arch. A hundred steel. Nothing over there. Nothing over there. Let's go to the ice obelisk. Shipwreck camp. Wait a minute. I haven't seen this. Did I get a pop-up about this? And there's a children's mine, too. Ooh. See, now I'm starting to think that we want a trading depot. Who could give me steel, though? The shipwreck camp? I bet you they make steel. I could use some steel. 100% I could use some steel. Uh, we can pull the engineers off here anymore. They don't matter. That's my emergency medical post. Set up some engineers over here instead. We've arrived at the frozen lake, I imagine. No, no food. No, oh, okay. Unfinished construction. Dark framework of something cool. Let's go there. I don't suppose I got any more uh, technology for, you know, scouting and stuff. No, that's not until uh, number four with the additional scouts. A third team. Boy, wouldn't that be fun. Okay. Um, we probably will need bunkhouses or something like that for the next wave. We still aren't getting anybody to cook food, by the way. We have any kids that can work. Yes. Now it's work time. Go do that. Get some freaking rations before people starve, because then I'm going to get raw food and they're going to eat it before I can do anything. There we go. Engineers were too sick. That's what it came down to. Engineers are way too sick. Okay. Um, capped out here. We're going to pull off a couple folks. Send them here. We're still only sort of barely treading even when it comes to coal. But once we get the efficient gathering, that should solve itself. We're doing fine on wood. I just don't have enough steel. But if I were to build, you know, the thing over here, we could try to set up a gathering post with somebody. Be nice. I don't have any extra laborers, or I would say we could set up a second sawmill and try to get through this faster so we don't waste any material there. Because we don't have a lot of wood left here. Not a lot. 368. If we can get over here, our wood problems are solved for the rest of the game. If we get some steam cores, that'd be even better. I'd love some more steam cores. But, we may have to rely on just exploring to do that. I mean, we survived, and I feel pretty good about that situation. I'm very glad we survived. We're actually doing really well in terms of medical conditions. And that's because we were able to get up to steam power level 3. It's going to be getting worse from here. People will be getting sick extremely quickly. But at least for now, we're doing okay. There's the efficient gathering done. Okay. Range upgrade? I think we may want to go for that, but maybe not now. What would be more efficient for me right now? Wall drill? Don't need it right now. Sawmill upgrade doesn't do me any good. Well, it does in the sense it gets me wood faster, but I don't need that. What I need is steel. I don't need more engineers. We're okay in terms of labor. 
Factory I know I want to get at some point, but until we get steam cores, what can I do? Range is nice. It does, however, cost an absolute frick ton of coal. But we will want the option anyway. And I am going to go ahead and upgrade this now. You guys should be able to do this quickly. We'll start gathering a lot of coal fast. Okay, so you guys will both produce like 90 summit coal per hour. Take a look at coal here. Yeah, we're fine. If anything, I don't know. Maybe, 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 maybe we're okay. Maybe we're okay. Rations wise, we should have enough to feed everyone for the day. Barely. Only one amputee is amazing to me. A new beginning. A group of young men have gathered around the house. They claim to be from a family that is harboring symbols of the old religion. They want to get rid of them. Discontent will rise. Discontent will fall. Take away their relics. I've got max devotion. Hope would probably fall under other circumstances, but who cares? They're completely devoted to me. These people literally worship me. Let's turn on the overdrive for a little bit. Let's enjoy some really nice high temperatures. Actually, no. It doesn't matter. We're pretty darn livable as is. I don't mind that. It's fine. Obelisk. Nothing here. Okay. Bound, uh, around rock. We found a rock? There's nothing here. I'm not sure how much I like that we're venturing out with no uh, guarantee of uh, benefit, but okay. Some people are starving again? How? We had the rations. Okay, we're gonna have to use some bodies to speed up our um, food production, because clearly we're not keeping up. We're going to go ahead and do that here and here and start producing a ton of raw food. All right, we've reached the unfinished obelisk. Wood and steel. Got it. Lying rock and another buried dreadnought. A hundred more steel. Buried dreadnought is going to be for relics. That is a trap. I don't want it. I am highly tempted to say we need to go to the shipwreck camp. Um, what we do need to do is go to the scar, drop off our steel, and then we can go there. I have to get steel, or we can't get another, um, we won't be able to get another bridge, and I need another bridge. Another Hulk sighted. Don't care. Do not care. You you think I care? I don't care. That sounds great and all, but it's not great. All right, well, we need to end this video here, because we are out of time. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm amazed that we survived the second storm. We're on day 30. You know, temperature's gonna drop, but then it's gonna go up, and as long as we keep this, uh, this up here, you know, I, I think we're gonna be sort of okay. The problem is people are going to get sick crazy fast because of the treacherous cold. But with the two infirmaries running, I don't know, maybe we got a good chance at making this one work. It's just going to be rough. Uh, I would love to find a few more survivors, if possible, to make up for all the ones that died. And, uh, yeah, that's my wish list. Beyond that, bridge over here. Get the wall drill going so we have a source of lumber consistently. Then we look for either more steam cores, or we look for more steel. I think that's kind of our only way forward. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs>